What? No. Ah, oh, no! Darn it, the power went out. Honey, can you please check the breaker? Why, Maggie? Why is this happening today? Oh, gosh, give me a break. Oh, it's fine. Thank you for calling Fortis, Alberta. My name is Victoria. How may I help you today? Hi there. Um, our power's gone out. I can definitely help you with that power outage. I'll just need to ask you a few questions to bring up your site, if you don't mind. Can I have the legal address or civic address to your site? All right. Let's put that in here. And may I have your first and last name, please? Yeah, it's um, Ivana Lightsbach. All right. And the phone number associated with your account? Sometimes it can just be a blown fuse. Have you reset your main breaker at the site? I have, and everything seems to be working fine. It's just really an inconvenience. We're having people over tonight and the game's on. I completely understand. What I'm going to do is create a trouble order so you can go back to your dinner preparation as soon as possible. The next available power line technician will be dispatched to investigate the cause of the outage. Thank you for calling Fortis, Alberta, and please call back if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you very much. Thank you for calling for the Get out and speak to the Whenever there is an outage, the contact center gets multiple calls from customers whose lights are off. Before OMS, a trouble order was created for each of the calls that came in and the PLT would be left to figure out which were related. With OMS, the system automatically bundles the trouble order so PLTs get one trouble order per outage. Hello? Hey John, just call, got a trouble order I dropped on you here. It's a predicted from device 26B73104. Yep. I see it. I'll go check it out. Please call, call your system operator, Steve, when you're on site and you have confirmed the outage. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hey, Steve, I just got a new trouble order that I assigned to John in the Red Deer area. Yep, I see the order. Thanks, Susie. Hi, Steve here. Hi, Steve. I'm at uh, 26B73104. I'm confirming that there's been a trip recloser on the line. This is uh, John Smith requesting from Steve Carter at FCC a self protection authorization from device 26B73104. I understand this is John Smith requesting from Steve Carter at FCC a self protection authorization from device 26B73104. That is correct. This is Steve Carter at FCC issuing John Smith a self protection authorization number 65 Echo 1 Echo 827 from device 26B73104. You are responsible to ensure safe conditions for work. This is John Smith being issued by Steve Carter at FCC, a self-protection authorization number. 65 Echo 1 Echo 827. From devices 26B73104. Understand it is my responsibility to ensure safe conditions for the work. That is correct. Thanks, Steve. 
There are four types of authorizations that the control centre can issue. Protection guarantee, guarantee of isolation, hold off and self-protection. The authorization number is issued by the system operator and are applied to every document related to the switching job. This includes work permit, do not operate tags and the device in the OMS. The system status log tool is used to track these authorizations. The system status log tool is impressive. This tool is developed in-house by Fortis Alberta to track real-time system changes to devices in the field. The SSL is also used to create, transfer and surrender authorizations. As devices are operated in OMS, SSL updates automatically to provide an at-a-glance view of device status, number of outages and number of tags. Once OMS determines the predicted outage location, customer's accounts are automatically updated in SAP. So when we pull up an account that's been impacted by the outage, we'll know right away. The little light bulb lets us know their power is out. It also comes up with an estimated time of restoration, something the customers will be very happy to know. Steve here. This is John Smith informed Steve Carter at FCC that all men and equipment are clear. All bonds and grounds have been removed. Under authorization number 65 Echo 1 Echo 827. I understand this is Steve Carter at FCC being informed by John Smith that all your men and equipment are clear. All bonds and grounds have been removed and you surrender authorization number 65 Echo 1 Echo 827. That is correct. And you request permission to energize. You have permission to energize. Thanks, Steve. The game. That was not bad. Once the PLT lets us know that power has been restored, we close the trouble order which updates the system status log accordingly. When OMS is updated, SAP is automatically updated and the outage light bulbs and the customer accounts disappear. Our system has grown. It's become increasingly complex. We add approximately 10,000 customers annually who expect a high level of service. To keep up, we need to take advantage of industry standard technologies. Uh, we need to reduce the time and resources necessary to respond to individual power interruptions. We need to proactively communicate with our customers in outage situations as opposed to our customers notifying us that their power is off and we need more rigor around safety. We need to continue to grow our reputation as the leading distribution company in Alberta. The Fortis Alberta Control Centre will help us meet the challenges that lie ahead. It will help us provide a highly coordinated, safe and effective response to power outages. <laughs>